Hey everyone, oh, let me change that, there we go. Hey everyone, JD here. Uh, there's been a lot of talk this week about virtual open houses, so I wanted to show you guys how to make a virtual open house. So after this clip, for the rest of the video, up until the end, everything I'm gonna do is a virtual open house of my home, uh, made almost completely free. I've got my iPhone that I'm gonna shoot it on, I've got a $9 tripod that I'll show you in a second, and I'm gonna edit it with a free editing app you can download for your smartphone. That's it. And then at the end, I'll show you how I did it a little bit to give you a little teaser. But everything in the middle is going to be completely self shot from my smartphone. Okay, let me, oh, come on, man. Okay, here's a tripod. This is what I'm gonna use. Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood realtor, JD here. I'm at my new listing. Uh, the address is and I wanted to give you a look. So come on, let's go and take a look. So step one, this is the shot I don't wanna see from any of you guys. I don't wanna see your chin. I don't wanna see nothing of the home. I'm just doing this so you don't know my address. Alexa, turn on the light. You can see we've got a smart home setup that actually comes with the property already. Now the Girl Scout cookies uh, are gonna stay. This is not part, that's not part of the property. And additionally, this lovely living area turns right into this kitchen. Now, the kitchen has been recently repainted. You can see a great blue on, on the wall, the orange over here. Now, one of the things you guys may have noticed about this video is I'm able to do a lot of quick cuts by using this editing app, by using Video Shop. A lot of the tours that I see really fall flat because of not cutting, not having shorter takes, walking from room to room. Um, which can be great to show the flow of the home, but you need to make sure you're keeping your audience interested and keeping them engaged. So the beautiful thing about this nice Holland home is that there are actually four bedrooms. We've got the master bedroom here with a walk-in closet that you can see right over here. Um, hello. Good to see you. Um, we also have a second bedroom right over here, right across the hall. Now the dogs don't come with it. And let's take a look at that final guest bedroom that we have over here, okay? Again, lovely space, nice bed, um, a closet that is currently being used for storage, but of course can be used for anyone who decides to stay in this room. And the last and maybe most important part of the home is the record collection. I mean, just look at all of that vinyl. So guys, the main takeaways from this video I want you to have, number one most important one, you can do this completely, just about completely free. I'm using a $9 tripod. Besides that, I'm using my phone and a free editing app. You can splice it all together. You can upload it right to Facebook or to Instagram or to YouTube all from your phone. I know this is the one that I always go back to, but have fun with it. You know, it's fun to walk around a home. It's fun to do a little video um, to give people an idea of what's going on and, um, you know, make the best of the situation that we have right now. Okay, guys, so um, this is my phone screen, as you can see. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this app down here, the very last one called Video Shop. I'm going to click on Video Shop, and it's going to, you can see I was testing it. This is a free app you can do, you can use to create videos. So I'm just going to click the plus up in the corner, and I'm going to do Import Clip. I can actually record right into the app if I want to, but if I do Import Clip, all of the clips that you saw me take are right here. Um, and I'm just going to... Let's see, I've got my intro clip I want to add. Click done when you've selected the videos you want to do. It's going to import. Now I picked a lot of clips, so it's going to take a hot second. Now boom, I've got all my clips right here. Uh, as I play each particular clip, I can do so much with them. So for example, this first clip here, I don't think you'll be able to hear the audio. If I want to, I can trim it by clicking this trim button in the middle here and then go to the, you know, and I can just drag and drop how much of this clip I want to play. So I actually just want to take off the end of it a little bit, like right here, stop right there. It's trimming it, boom. You can go to the next clip, do the same thing. And you, as you can see, I can also add text under each of these. So I'm going to add text, double tap to edit, click done. I can change the font right here if I want to. I kind of like this one. Uh, no, I don't, I like this one. So click done, I'm going to change the color to that right there. Click, I want that to be over that whole clip app, actually. So I'm going to go there, click OK. So you can see as you do each clip, you can you know edit it and trim that if you want to. You can put music over the whole thing. If I go back here and I click on this music button, I can actually select from my iPhone uh, if I have any tracks. Now make sure that they're royalty free, but they also have stock music here that you can use. I'm going to do happy guitar. I'm going to click use. It's going to download it, put it right underneath there. So I can work on my clips, do each one, and then when I'm done, I can just click this button up here uh, in the upper right corner, and I can do whatever I want with it. I can save to my camera roll, which is probably what you're gonna wanna do, 
and um, that's it. So then you can just, from here, once you've got your video, you can click on the YouTube app right here. You can see I have it right next to it. And you can upload your video directly to YouTube if you want to um, through your account. Or, of course, you can upload it directly to Facebook through your phone as well. All right, guys, good luck.